Sagittarius, welcome, welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. All right, so I just did a dope-ass video for you guys. And it, I don't know, it went and upload. But there was some juiciness. There was a lot of juice, 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 juice in, in that reading. Um, there was like third party energy, someone um, deciding to let something go. I'm sensing that you guys are worried too. The nine of swords wanted to pop out. Um, but there was this like queen of cups that kept popping out because I used two different decks. The Queen of Cups kept popping out, so maybe there's a Cancer and Pisces Scorpio involved. But there's like this third party energy. You deciding that you wanted to walk away from this situation or something like that. It was something like that to that nature. Um, but let's see what story we have now. What's the story that we have now for Sagittarius? And for Sagittarius, I was picking up on the number four, okay? So, 444 four, four could be significant to you guys. You could be seeing the number four a lot. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle four times for Sagittarius. Do keep in mind, guys, that these are general reads, so they won't resonate with every single Sagittarius, okay? So, <clears throat> the energies can also be vice versa. Keep that in mind as well. If you are new to this channel, make sure you click the bell all right, so we got the King of Cups. See, I'm telling you something about some of you guys are definitely dealing with the water sign. Definitely. But I saw something else that wanted to pop out. But maybe you want to express how you feel to someone. Because we got the Page of Wands here, which is fire energy. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm peeping at these cards are ready to, to talk. So let's go ahead and hop into it. I'm going to shuffle these cards four times because for some reason the number four has been sticking out for me while I'm meditating on you guys' energy. So we're going to shuffle four times and then we're going to hop right into you guys' reading, okay? Make sure you click the like button if this message resonates with you. Don't forget to share this video with your family and your friends, with someone you think it may help. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. What messages are there for Sagittarius for the month of October? Y'all see my nail? Uh, it looks so yucky. All right, let's see. Sagittarius. Ooh. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. All right, so maybe you're trying to manifest something here. Someone is trying to manifest a second chance. Someone wants a second chance, okay? Let's see what's going on. You're hoping that something works. Um... Let's see what this is. Okay. All right. Mm. There's that Queen of Cups again. Okay, so you, some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. The first card we have here is the Star card. So some of you guys may be healing from a situation because I have temperance here too. So I'm getting like healing with the star card and the challenge being the temperance. Even though you guys' card is the temperance card. Um, but I'm getting like with the star card there, I'm getting like healing from a situation. Um, you're trying to possibly heal from something. Um, I feel like someone got cut off. Someone got cut off here because I'm picking up on a closure as well. Um, 
I feel like you possibly could have been juggling two people, two, th two things, um, and you were busy. We got the Eight of Pentacles here and the Two of Pentacles. So you were multitasking. You were juggling two people or you had a lot going on at work or there's just a lot of busyness is what I'm getting right. You're busy. But I feel like you're not waiting or you're... I'm getting like there's this closed off energy like ignoring someone. You know that this person is waiting for you, but I feel like you're ignoring them is what I'm picking up. Or you feel like they're ignoring you. I feel like this person is very sweet and very loving, very caring. But for some reason, like, I feel like you're pushing them away. We got the Queen of Cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like you're pushing them away or vice versa. You feel like they're pushing you away. They're feeling, they are waiting they're waiting, okay? They feel like things between you guys have been put on hold. And I, I don't feel like they're very happy about it either. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn. You can't make up your mind. You don't want to make up your mind right now. Or you got some of you guys are dealing with the Scorpio, but there's a decision that you need to make, okay? You're feeling like you're not ready to make this decision. But I do feel like you want something fresh and new, okay? You're des you desire something new. So you cut someone out, okay? Someone is trying to get your attention or you're trying to get someone else's attention. Um, and I feel like you want to close a chapter here, but not before you make things clear. There's some truth that needs to be revealed or needs to come out. Um. Yeah, like you don't want to talk to the I'm, I'm just getting like You don't want nothing to do with this person Or vice versa This person doesn't want anything to do with you Um, so, Or you just like Can't make up your mind Because we got the two of swords and the four of cups So this is like, you know, not being able To make up your mind or not wanting What they have to offer So it's like whoever's waiting Is waiting in vain Right, we got the Eight of Cups here. So some of you guys have walked away from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's There was obstacles and someone walked away. Oh, they feel like you're being possessive. They feel like you are being, you're holding things up because you're being, you're being controlling and possessive. Oh, and they, something here, you feel like something isn't fair. The decision that that they made or decision, um, or you, I'm just picking up like you can't make up your mind. And something just isn't, you feel like something isn't fair. You want, I feel like you do want to talk to this person or you want to tell this person how you feel. Why is the eight of wands here? You want to communicate with this person. Yeah, with the two of cups. So you want to connect back with this person. Um, I feel like you don't have the courage. Or maybe you're waiting. I got Leo here with the strength card. I feel like you're waiting for some someone to call or communication to come in. You're waiting, being patient for someone to call. I feel like you're waiting for them to have the courage to call you. Because I feel like you're just not open to communicating with them. You feel like, I'm just going to wait. I don't, I'm not going to stick my neck out. I'm not going to put in any effort. I'm not going to do it. This is why they feel like you're holding up the process. Because you're coming off as the devil and the emperor. So you're very controlling. They feel like you're very possessive. Like you're being negative. Um, and you just want things to go your way. Like you're pushing them away. You push them away is what I'm getting. Like... I feel like you literally pushed them away because we have the seven of wands and the eight of cups. So this is literally pushing someone away. Okay. So they feel pushed away or you decide that you were going to push them away, backing them up out of your face. Woo. Someone is talking about a decision that someone is making. 
maybe it involves children because we got the six of cups here or something about the past it's like not being able to go back and letting this thing go letting something here go there was like a third party energy here we got the queen of wands and the moon so there's like this um something that's supposed to be kept a secret with the moon and the nine of wands but all of a sudden it's like letting all of this go with this ten of wands and the ten of swords and now someone wants to come back Why is the star card here? Okay, Knight of Wands, okay? So maybe you're hoping that someone is over a situation and has healed from a situation. And I feel like someone got cut off. Um, I feel like someone got cut off here. I feel like you pushed somebody away. And now you could be like waiting for them to reach back out to you. Let's see why the temperance card is here. The magician. All right, so now you wanna make something, the challenge is making this balanced again making this situation um balanced again let's see how they feel about you So let's see how your partner feels about Sagittarius for the month of October. How do they feel about Sagittarius? Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. All right. So they could be communicating. Some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces. Someone here is regretting moving on. Um, someone is regretting that they have to move on or someone moved on from them. They want someone to regret it. Um, they could be hiding this, <clears throat> or they feel like you're hiding this, um, that you regret moving on, but there's a, someone wants to communicate, okay, and work things out. Here's the magician again. All right, so, oh, wow, someone is big time spying. I don't know why I'm picking up kids. Um, I'm just picking up some for some of you guys. This would be like a baby mom, baby father thing, or it doesn't have to be with everyone. But I'm just picking up that I feel like kids are involved. Um, I feel like there is some immature behavior here. Um, they feel like you're making the situation worse. <clears throat> they definitely do feel like you're controlling. Every time, like, the last time that they spoke with you, they felt like you came off as kind of harsh and, you know, like, controlling. Someone is, um, they feel like you are changing, and then with the change, it's like, they feel like you're being sneakier. They feel like it's just sneaky energy. Um, they're waiting for you to let your guard down and waiting for you to, you know, come down. And basically play as if you're defeated, okay? But I feel like you're slowly making some type of, like, you. they want a commitment, but you're moving. You're dragging your feet. You're dragging your feet. Some of you guys are um, possibly married or already in a commitment with someone. Um, but I do feel like they are closing this chapter, but I feel like with that Knight of Wands, it's like closing it. And then with that Knight of Wands, it's like back and forth. It's like they're closing it, closing the door and opening it back. Close the door, open it back. 
close the door, open it back. So even if I feel like even if they feel like they have to close this chapter on you, I feel like they are wanting you to come back around or they're coming back around. Um, there is a need. They want to balance out some type of conflict with you. And they may be watching you, okay, to see what you're up to. Um, but they felt rejected by you, okay? The last time when they had a conversation with you, they did not like it. They felt rejected. But definitely their guard is, is like a game changer, okay? Guard is going to be up. So if you come back towards them, expect for their guard to be up because they're going to, they can't trust you. I'm getting that you feel like you want to, this situation is a burden. It's too many rules. It's too much responsibility or it's just something that's too much and you're not willing to pick up the pace for them. So I feel like you're ready to drop this situation. Someone could possibly like be still living with someone or still together with someone. But I'm picking up like someone closes this chapter, but someone is definitely trying to get back in. So they could be feeling like you close this chapter, but then here you come again trying to come back. Or they're trying to come back in. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The moon card. Some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces. But, I mean, I'm just getting someone doesn't want to give somebody a second chance. Somebody does not want to do this again. They don't want to do it again. Their intuition is telling them not to do it again. So, I feel like this is an on again off again thing like they someone is like repeatedly trying this it's like beating a dead something that's already dead um and i feel like somebody is just feeling like they feel like they can't trust you they feel like you made them feel less than And I just feel like they, they don't feel like they can trust you. And they feel like you're just making the situation worse. They feel like when they when they talk to you, you kind of come off as like controlling. And it's like you're making it worse. That's how they feel. Like you're making the situation worse. All right, so let's see. How do they feel about Sagittarius? So we have calling in your soulmate, wedding, and flirt. I feel like for some of you guys, someone here could already be married or you're married to this person. But there's been like some flirting going on. So maybe you could be feeling like this person could be the one. I feel like some, some of you guys are like separated possibly like married but separated and you're distant from your partner but someone possibly from the past or some of you guys are dealing with someone from the past as well that you have a really good connection with <clears throat> but there's something about distance here i'm picking up on there's distance here We got chemistry, we got heart-to-heart -heart conversation, and we have attraction. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Why is, it, why is chemistry here? Why is heart-to-heart -heart conversation here? And why is attraction here? Please give me clarifiers for Sagittarius.
there is a very strong magnetic chemistry here guys there's a sexual chemistry you're very very attracted to this person sexually this person is very like you're like very very attracted to this person or they very very attracted to you okay i feel like yeah there's a conversation that um they want to have with you or you want to have with them yeah and i feel like there's going to be communication opening up like there's just an attraction i feel like you guys are super attracted to this person or they to you but the chemistry um between you and this person is undeniable but i feel like there's a need to have some type of conversation with this person because for some reason like i'm just picking up on you guys are being like ruthless <laughs> As I kind of know Sagittarius to be, you know. Yeah, see, look, the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So this is like an adventure. This is something like they feel like they sneak off to do. This is something that's like, I feel like I'm getting like sneak and creep. <laughs> is what I'm getting. Um, someone is feeling left out in the cold, okay. Um, and they do want to um, communicate. Yeah. But I feel like someone's guard is going to be up. Whenever you two decide to communicate with each other, your guard is going to be up or their guard is going to be up. They're set some standards and rules. They've set boundaries. They have set some boundaries. I'm picking up, I'm like, something is just like a big, um, There's some confrontation that um, I'm picking up on. Maybe you guys got into some type of argument or fight. Um, someone could also be having financial issues. Maybe someone comes to you with their problems is what I'm picking up on as well. Um, but yeah, someone has set up some boundaries. Okay, that they 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 aren't as willing or open to you as they used to be. They have set up some boundaries. They have set up some boundaries. All right, Sagittarius, that's going to be your reading that I have for you for October. If this message seems to resonate with you, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and if you're new, subscribe, okay? If you would like to book your own personal reading, that information is in the drop box below. Until next time, Sags, see you later.